So first and foremost, we want to give call all your Yahweh, Bahashim, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, for giving us the spirit and power to come out here week in and week out. For you blacks, Hispanics, and natives, we come out here to teach you the Bible. So That's that you right. May know how to get salvation. We know the way to who the world calls Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's right. And if you care about your salvation, we're here to teach you. We're not saying we're better than nobody out here, but we know the way of salvation. That's right. And the Bible says there's no condemnation to those that keep the commandments. It doesn't say there's no condemnation to them that just believe and do what they do their own thing and just wing their whole life and doing whatever they want to do. There's no condemnation to them that keep the commands. That's right. Romans 8 and 1 NLT. Let's get it. Because we love y'all, man. We out here for y'all. That's we right. Like Spanish and Native Americans. And we out here to tell the heathens their judgment. Because we love the look on their face when we read them their judgment, man. You got that? The book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 1 yes, in the NLT. Yep. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Hamashiach Yahweh So why do people walk around saying that they sinners all the time? Mm. Why do they walk around and say that they sinners when the Bible says that you can't sin when you walk in the ways of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach? Because that's the mission. That's why he says, follow me. Because he was a he was he walked perfectly, man. He did not sin. So if we follow after him, we'll be closer to that, you know, we'll be closer and closer to Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. But the Bible says there's no condemnation to what? Read it again. There is no condemnation for those who belong to a Mashiach Yahweh Uh huh. And because you belong to him, uh -huh. the power of the life giving spirit has freed you. Has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. And when you go into Hebrews chapter 10, if you're familiar with the Bible, it's talking about the spirit of grace that comes in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right. That was given to all of us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so that we can repent and not be condemned for the laws of adultery, right. the laws of idolatry, right. fornication, right. and many other sins that you can be put to death for according to the law of Moses. But that is no excuse to not keep the laws of Moses. Right. It's just that we do it in the spirit of who the world calls Jesus Christ. What's up with it, bro? Come here right quick. Let us holler at you. Hey, y'all sisters too, come read, come listen to the Bible. Right. Y'all believe in the Bible or no? What's up? We can't get a little bit of respect when you come talk to us? She said, I hear you. But it's a respectful thing to come over and really holler at us. Hey, so we out here for y'all at the end of the day. Go ahead. It says, I'm the law of Moses was unable to save us. Hey, give me Deuteronomy 18 and 18. You say what? The law of, of Moses, Moses was unable to, to save us uh -huh. because of the weakness of our sinful nature. Right. That's why uh, the majority of our people was walking around the homeland afraid. They was afraid of getting put to death for making a, a, a sinful action. So now that we have your Hamashiach and Hawashah, we can be forgiven for those sins we could not be forgiven for according to the law of Moses, man. But a lot of people, they when it say in uh, Hebrews 10, they step on the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach and counted it to no effect. Nobody cares to walk after Yahweh Shah. Hey, these women nowadays, they don't want men that follow after Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. They want thugs and gangbangers, man. They want the total opposite, man. And then they'd be the same ones complaining on social media how they can't find a good man. Well, it's all your fault, man. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Yo. Do we then make void the law through faith? Uh huh. God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. So, like he was saying, Hamashiach Yawashai came to show you how you live your life, not to go against Hamashiach Yawashai. Hamashiach Yahushua wasn't just doing the pleasures of the flesh, wasn't just sinning. So why do you think he died for you to do that? That don't make sense. He was an example. That means you follow after. Yeah. So like how, like the brother said, 
a lot of people say, well, Christ came and fulfilled the law. We no longer have to keep it. But then in the same sentence, they'll tell you to follow who the world calls Jesus Christ. How do you follow him without keeping the commandments if that's what he's known for? One of the things he's known for is walking in the law perfectly. How can you follow a man that walked in the law perfectly and you don't have to do what, what a big point that what makes him known? That don't even make any sense. Right? Uh, keep going on that, Romans. It says, the law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. So God did what the law could not do. So a lot of people, they'll twist this scripture and say, see, the law of Moses can't save us. It can't save us being alone, man, because of our sinful nature. Not because there's something wrong with the law, statutes, commandments. They perfect. But the most I ain't about to take the law, statutes, commandments away just because we we choose to make the, the, the mistake, and I'm talking about collectively as a nation, to go commit adultery because you burning in your lust. He ain't about to take it. No, he gave us an avenue to repent from all of that. That's all that is. Go ahead. This is your opportunity to repent for the remission of sins. That's right. Or you can keep playing yourself and acting like the world isn't crumbling, like the world isn't going into sin. I mean, yeah, the world isn't crumbling because of sin. What? This is the book of... Okay. This is Deuteronomy 18 verse 18. Okay. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. So this is in the law. This is in the Torah. The Lord says eventually I'm going to raise up a prophet which we know is Yahweh Shah Mashiach. How do we know that? Go to the book of Acts chapter 2 right quick. Precept upon precept, line upon line and eyes up. You and uh, who? Somebody give me Acts. Need the book of Acts right quick. Okay. So Acts chapter 2, what I believe is 38. The book of Acts chapter 2. Start at uh, 20. In verse 20. It's, lock it. it's 3 and 20. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 20. Here we go. And he shall send Yahweh Shai Hamashayat, uh -huh. which before was preached unto you. Heaven must receive uh -huh. until the time of restitution right. of all things uh -huh. which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets uh -huh. since the world began. Yep. Is that 3 and 20? Yes. For Moses truly said unto the Father, uh -huh. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you and it's talking about who the world calls jesus christ so our forefathers understood that deuteronomy 18 and 18 was talking about who the world calls jesus christ so go back to deuteronomy 18 and 18. this is deuteronomy 18 verse 18. No. i will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren who the world calls jesus christ go ahead like unto thee uh-huh and I will put my words in his mouth. Uh -huh. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So that's why who the world calls Jesus Christ walked around saying, I'm not coming to do my will, but the will of my father. I came to be a sacrificial lamb so that the people can repent and come back to the most high God. Hey, so do you know how to repent? What's up? Repentance is a way of life. What do you think about that? How did people come on the earth, man? Huh? How did you come on this earth? What do you mean? How did you come on this earth? I was born through my mother. Now, my father and my now, mother. Now, now, what about the rib? Huh? Now, what about the rib? Huh? The rib. The what rib. Do you know where you come from? You're a man. Did you know you couldn't come from the mother? That's the right? mother. That's like Jesus coming from Mary. You know what I mean? Jesus. You should put that down, man. I, put it down. I, I don't it. think. No, I'm telling you no, for good. I put it down. I respect. I ain't like that. So what? first, what is your name? 
Sha. Sha, so you explain it to me that basically uh, the Virgin Mary, how she had a baby without the man. Is that what you explained it to me? God said in the Bible to in whom I am pleased with. You know what I mean? He was pleased with Jesus. That's why he chose Jesus. Okay. And that's, that's why and that's why Jesus was born from Mary. Like that's why Jesus was that special because he used them to walk the earth to show people like you. And I'm not meaning no disrespect. No disrespect. But he made y'all. He gave y'all mothers. He gave y'all fathers. And the father's supposed to do one thing, right? Protect and, and be there. You know what I mean? Real spill. So you saying all that to say what? Because I asked you, how do you do? Repentance is a way of life. Did you not ask me? Huh? Did you not ask me? I asked you, how do you repent? You didn't like the answer, and that's cool. So how is that an answer? It wasn't an answer. Okay, what about, where did you get that understanding? Let me ask you that then. I got it from the word. Okay, what scripture? New King James Version. And there is no scripture, but there's tons of scriptures in the Bible. The, ra the fact that he's holding the Bible to, 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 to like prove something that's fact, bro. Like, it's fact. That's why y'all go to that. That's why there's... Man, Catholics, bro. That's why there's people like, yo, I don't know what the name of the group is. I'm from Chicago, by the way. As y'all can see, I definitely gonna represent. You represent Chicago? You think that's a good place to represent? Oh, oh bad people, but you know what I mean? That's still my city at the end of the day. Y'all gotta rep yards right along. We from Israel. That's right. All right. Okay. All you right. from Israel. All right. Most likely. All right. So All look, right. look, our point up here is it right. was going over who the world calls Jesus Christ. But then I asked you, do y'all agree? You... Do y'all agree? Look, look, hold on. I just let you Jesus talk. Hold is on, Jesus. Hold on. Do y'all agree second. that Jesus is Jesus? Do y'all agree that? Give me one second. We're going to answer that. All right. So no, I have to show you this before we get move on to the next thing. We no gotta disrespect. do things no instantly. You know, nah, it's cool. No disrespect. We're not worried about that. So go to Acts 3 and 19 right quick. Let's show he her how to repent. He still gotta go to the word though. He still gotta go to the word. Yeah, ain't that what we're supposed to do? Let God be true and every man a liar, right? Are you his enemy? Are you are you Judah right now, man? Huh? Are you Judah right now? Judah? Are you Judas right now? Like, are you Judah? Like, did you betray are you betraying Jesus right now? By how saying am I doing that? What would, how would you even speculate that I'm doing that? Right now, bro. Yo sin. Right now, right now, bro. Yo sin is greater right now. What, what you doing? You using the word to contradict what's going on right now. And this is God. This is God talking to me right now, yo. Real spill. I know the Lord and I know the word. This is Acts Don't three, mock verse nineteen. Don't mock him. Bring it up. Don't mock him. Repent, ye therefore, and Don't be converted, him. that your sins may be blotted out. So this is why I asked you, according to the Bible, how do you repent? Because the Bible tells you how to repent. You ask if I'm mocking Jesus. Well, Jesus is the one who set up Peter and the rest of the apostles to say things like this. You know what's So crazy, read, read it one more time I, so she All can right. hear it. All right. Repent ye therefore uh -huh. and be converted. It says repent and be converted, right? Go ahead. That your sins may be blotted out. Do you know what sin is, Shine? Sin is what's going on right now. What is it? So you're saying we in sin. I mean, be real. What's going on here? What is, what is all this? I, I gotta know. This is a visual of what's going. It's prophecy and what happened to our people, which goes right back to the Bible. Okay. What's wrong with this? You got a problem with all of this? I mean, what is it supposed to mean, man? Everything with image, right, so everything with I'm entertainment, out. bro. Point out one of them and then ask that question, and I'm gonna show you. The only one I gotta ask for, probably. Okay. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do the Jesus. Okay, Jesus let's, do the let's do that. Jesus yeah, then. Let's do that. So let's you that. think that white image is Jesus? No, I don't. So why do you have a problem with it? Why is it here? Oh yeah. What do you mean? Why is it here? Like why? Why you That's have it? That's a good it? question. Yeah. Why you have so it? So let's like, go. You know, let's go to it. Let's go to uh, Jesus, right? Revelation. Yeah. But I hope you was understanding. How do no, you repent? I'm, I'm, I didn't come over here for nothing, my guy. I didn't come over here for nothing. So. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hey, remind me, so hold it. So, Re Revelation chapter 1 and I Daniel come over 7. Here for nothing. So, you asked us, why do we have that image? We actually have two. You see the, the black version of it, and then you got the white version of it. So, do you think that the white image, that's the description of Jesus in the book? No. It's not? No. We agree with that. So, we got that image so people can see that and then see the other description, how the Bible actually explains what he looked like. Have you ever seen him described like that? I never, never. Let me see, let me see. I never know. No, I never have. You have it, right? So Buff now we're going to show you in the Bible. Go ahead. Okay. 
the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, yep. one like unto the Son of Man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment down to the foot. So like it. Start at verse 1, then drop down. Verse 1, <laughs> the revelation of Jesus Christ. Ain't that the smartest thing to do to show you that this is talking about Jesus Christ in this chapter? What was that? He said. All right, cool. He said. <laughs> all right, go ahead. So, let's get, let him get the spotlight. Spotlight. What did, I thought we was eating here. I thought we my was. Fault, my fault. I'm just. I'm just. Bro, I think you just high and you can't even comprehend wow. what we're bringing out. Wow. I'm going okay. to you. All right. All so right. just sit there then and chill. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. One and one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And this is including what he looked like. That's why you drop down to verse 13 and it's going to explain what Jesus Christ looks like. Right now, drop down to what he looks like. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man, yep. clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right, so he had a long garment on, right? You okay. Listening? okay. Go ahead. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Right, so he had a gold girdle around his waist, right? Okay. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So that's. Would you say that's strike one for the, this? It doesn't. It doesn't describe this, right? To be Jesus Christ, right? Correct. Okay, let's keep going. His head and his hairs were white, like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Yep. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So is his eyes as the flame of fire? No. No. That's strike two, ain't it? All right, go ahead. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. So we ask this question all the time. And all the brothers, we all break it down the same because it's the truth. So is your feet the same color as your body? Nope. No. The same color, but uh, Is your feet the same color as your body? Let's be real here. Man. Yes or no? I wouldn't know. Oh, I wouldn't know. That no never have I ever been asked that question. Okay, so before just take today. the socks off and look then. That's all you gotta do. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but for the most part. Niggas ain't dirty, dog. Hey, Niggas ain't dirty. No, no, nah, nah, we're not saying that. But the, the, the reason why it's like that, though, is because the sun don't hit your feet. You must have socks on a, a very lot. So, but usually, that's the same color as your whole entire body. You all one color. You're not about to be two-tone color. Well, I mean. <laughs> I never thought, I never thought that, though. But, I never thought but look, that, though. I'm, we're, we're, des we're describing. That's a, that's a great question. All right, so it says that his feet, go ahead. His feet, uh -huh. like unto fine bread, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. So is, is that the description of this man right here? His feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? It's brown, right? Yeah. Like a penny. Yeah. It says as if it burned in a furnace. So that would be strike three for this man right here, right? So... So, Who is he then? I never praised I never praised this dude, so it, it really don't matter. Like really. No, it does matter. If it didn't matter, it wouldn't hey give me that where it says that uh so you tell me that believe on me as the scripture has said. Hey look, look you talk, talk I just to me. need I just need to know why y'all got all this here. No, no, I don't understand. Look, hold on. We I don't want to see one thing at a time. Look, I don't get it. We dealing with this for right now. We, we can go wherever you want to. So that's three it. strikes for this image. This meaning this is not the image. So where did this man? Hey, y'all, hold on. So where did this image come from? I know y'all eager to answer it. She should be eager too. But look, where did this image come from? Man made. Okay, so the image that the scripture is breaking down, it will go back. This is not him, but this is more likely of what he would look like. That's why we have this here, not this. This is a white supremacy image. This is Cesare Borgir. It's actually a documentary on this man and his family. Bruh, I've been new this. But you asked about that. I'm just trying to figure out what's the movement here. Because we got niggas in Chicago that do this shit too. I just really want to know. I never actually stepped to one of y'all and just asked, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What y'all really doing? What y'all like on, on, the, on this for? Like, literally. So, look, so, according to the Bible, these people on this sign are the Hebrew Israelites. Biblical. Right. We are God. Hold on. 
What the fuck, bro? We are God's chosen people. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Cuban and Dominican. You can't and be black. all of those. And black. You can't be at all of those. No, I'm we have you descendants, out. though. We have descendants, though. Hey, look. We have descendants, though. Believe it or not, we have descendants. I'm going to show you. Come on, man. Like, you speaking like... No, you're not listening. Man. I am. I, am. I just want to know what the movement is. I really do. I'm trying to tell you, but you keep interrupting. I'm going to go ahead. My fault. No disrespect. No, it ain't. No disrespect. This is number one, verse 18. Hey, before you get there, did you hear what he said? Did okay, go understand? ahead, go ahead. What'd he say? Do you understand what we showed you about what Christ Yeah, y'all basically saying that this No, we didn't say anything. Okay, y'all basically Bible saying that that the, the image. Thank you. Right, right. Oh, he get it. I just, I just said the same thing he just said. He said it quicker than me. Okay, well, all right, cool. We'll oh, give you that. Man, we'll give you that. Man, man look, y'all want to play the game. Y'all want to play. This ain't no game. Come on, Sha you right about that. But we can't mock God. We can't mock God. We can't do that. We can't mock God. You know what I mean? We don't mock him. Despite the movement, G, despite the movement, G, this, 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 this is crazy. This ain't a right? movement. This is our heritage. This is our culture. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. But this, is, this ain't Black Panthers. This ain't no Black Lives Matter. This ain't none of that. You think Black Panthers still in Chicago? Huh? You think Black Panthers still in Chicago? That's what you think? No, no. no. I'm trying to help you understand because you keep saying movement. This is who you are. Like, you... What's your nationality? Let's start with that. I just said Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican, and Black. Black, and black as ever. What's black your father? Yeah. Huh? What's your dad? My father, yeah. he's a black African American man. Okay, so that's, that's what you are. you are. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> he understand, man. <laughs> that's what you are. But you saying I like I didn't know that, nigga. Like, what the hell? Uh, like, girl, you telling me like you were just doing my energy, nigga. Like, like, how you gonna say that shit, bro? I just wanna know what the movement is. What's up? That's right. what we're trying to do is teach you something. Yeah. Yeah. My, my heritage, though. Yeah, your heritage. You know what that means? Yeah, I want to hear my heritage. So look, your culture, your heritage, like you, we claim to be African Americans. We're not African Americans. We claim to be black, but here it is, we brown skinned. How are we black but got brown skin? We've been bamboozled. Let's just accept that, man. Let's just accept that and start to learn who we are, which is Hebrew Israelites. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. So let's, let's read this for This is Numbers 1, verse 18. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees yeah. after their family by the house of their father. So they would determine what your lineage, your race is by the house of your father, not your mom. Oh, that's like because I'm going to ask you a question. And we use this all the time. If I took it, if a brother was crunching on an apple and he gave me the seed and I went and planted it in the ground and it started to grow, what's going to come out of that ground? An apple seed, right? You agree with that? Do you? So if I took that same, those apples that grew and I took more seeds from that and I took it to China and I put it in the ground and it sprang up, what's going to come out the ground in China? Apple tree. An apple tree. So if I put my seed in a white woman, it's going to still be a, a, a so-called black baby. If I put my seed in a Chinese woman, it's still going to be a so-called black baby. So whatever your dad put his seed in, that's you still a African, a so-called African American. I know that. I know that. I know that. I'm not a so-called. I just know that. I just know that. If you want to call me a Hebrew too, like, go ahead. Go no, ahead. it ain't no two. You're not African. What does African mean? What does that word mean? This is an African an African ascendant. Because my heritage in Puerto Rican, that African, I'll leave it or not, just want to dish the, the black and Hebrew. Cubans as well. Dominicans as well. We got a little bit of Mexicans too. Might go add that. American blacks. West Indian blacks. Haitians. Haitians is just... It don't matter. Like I just don't get the whole, the whole thing. Like what y'all trying to say? Y'all trying to grab from the word and then put our own picture to it. Like so, okay, where, where, where point do you get that? That we trying to put our own picture? Because I've never seen this before. That's like, what that's what we out here to do. Help you understand. Yeah, I know you. I know you. But you was token on that man. You, you don't have the basis. What I asked you when I said when I got here. What's the whole what, what's the whole thing about? What's yeah, this about? That's what we trying to show you though, Sha. It's, 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 I'm just saying the Hebrew is the comic. Yeah, I, I and I think that. it's just the pictures that's doing yeah. it off. It's not yeah, the speech. For sure. It's not the speech. Yeah. For sure. It's the pictures that's doing it off. So off. don't worry about the pictures then. So when we are here teaching that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American descent 
are the Hebrew Israelites, God's yeah, chosen yeah. people. That's right. God That's right. has a chosen people yeah. that he loves more than everybody else on this earth. And we're calling, we come out here week in and week out to call those people back to God. Everybody's not going to come back to their heritage, their culture, because a lot of people love nigga culture. That's they right. love it. That's right. And that's just what it is. That's why you would go over with this. I'm from the side, oh, by the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's not even that, man. That's not even that. <laughs> but, hey, y'all pushing it. Y'all pushing it, though. Go ahead. Y'all pushing it. Yeah, I'm asking you, do y'all got the answer? Because this is new. This is new facts. For sure. If it's facts, yeah, I will never know. So I'm trying to show you. There was no letter J in the 1600s. And I'm not trying to go to Wikipedia and so, that. You so, know the, so Jesus, he was 2,000 years before that, right? So what was his name? Before the letter J came into play. Ishmael. No. No. They were speaking Hebrew. <laughs> so I said we Hebrew Israelites. We Hebrew by uh language, Israelites by nation, right? So we we speak these people supposed to speak Hebrew. Right. So that means Jesus Christ would have a Hebrew name. Right? right? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. You following me though? I mean, I'm just, I'm, what I'm just trying to say is this, the facts is, if you don't repent to God and, and, and the word, you know, y'all holding the word, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's really facts because your eternal soul leaves this earth. Let, let's be, let's be real. All of this, you know, to catch a person, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is, this, this ain't no God stuff. This ain't no. So you saying what we doing ain't God stuff. I'm just saying it's not God stuff. Or maybe you just can't understand it. That's it, that's it, you're right. Yeah, that's so. it, yeah, that's what's up. My fault, man, my fault. So, my fault. What church is y'all from? Um, on the Hebrew point, we don't believe his name is Jesus. Believe... You know what this look like? Moses, Moses with Shot. the two, with the two snakes, you know, with the two snakes. Shot. you're supposed to let him talk. And the snakes, you know how you, eat. that's what it look like right here, right now. Because you're using him to make a better description of this, and it's crazy, Joe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You made a good point. You know what, what language this book is written in? This right here. When you read this, it's in what? It's in English? Simple? That's very simple. I'm not trying to trick you. This is, this is English. This right here was translated to English from Hebrew. So when you read the names, the What's names... Hebrew? Can Listen, you guys on, can speak can I, Hebrew? Yes, we can. But it oh, why? Why? It wouldn't Shoot be. It wouldn't be. Yeah, how was shot? How was shot? Yeah, how was shot? Okay, what's that supposed to mean? That's why I don't come out here and we don't just speak. It's yeah. not a listen, dialogue here about listen, Hebrew. Listen, come listen, on, man. listen, listen, listen. Y'all know y'all. Stop, stop, stop. Y'all know y'all. Can you speak, give me a chance come? to speak? Come on, come on now. Can you give me a chance? So whenever you read the name, it's going to go back to Hebrew, just like all of the other words. So, uh, do you speak? You speak Mexican? Spanish? Spanish, my bad. I've been saying somewhere, Mexican somewhere. so much all the time. <laughs> I say it as a joke all the time, but now I was for real and forgot to say yeah, it. Right. Yeah, bro, it's, so, it's so like, um, like, uh, like uh, Jessica in English, what would they say? How would they pronounce Jessica? Jessica? Huh? Jessica. 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 They have pronounced it different. Yeah. So when you read the name Jesus, it really go back to Joshua and that go to Yahweh Shah. My first so that's name, all hold, it, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want you to understand a point and I'm going to let you, I'm going to give it all back right, to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hopefully you can understand that. That's very simple. We okay. Hebrew Israelites, the language that we spoke was Hebrew. Okay. So the names were Hebrew. His name just means he saves. He is. He saves. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so he saved y'all. Actually... He got all y'all saved. No, we didn't, you... say, we didn't make that claim. We didn't uh, make okay. that claim. Okay. You got to calm down. So okay. all I want you to know is that that name that we sing, we actually saying his real name in the Hebrew. That's it. That's it. That that's it. That's all we're trying to show. <laughs> Hopefully you understood the brother. Can I say something? Because that's why we in a group to help can can I say something? people get understanding. My first name, I say, my first name, S-A-R-A-I. Now, where did that name come from? S-A-R-A-I. Go ahead. We're going to listen. Sarah. My grandmother was a, a great believer, and, and I, I do believe to this day she's with the Holy holy God, no doubt, and living her best life, because that's just it. You got you got heaven and hell, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, she taught me that. She showed me that. Just because I'm not walking, don't mean I won't hear foolishness, like, passing my way. So look, before we get into all of that, 
I'm just saying. I'm a firm believer. I'm just a firm believer. Hear me out. That's it. No disrespect. The only reason we, nah, the only reason we brought up your nationality is because it's important to know if you're an Israelite or not. That's right. right. My whole first name is Hebrew. Like, come on. Okay, cool. What does it mean? What does it mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? That's Abraham's. What does Sarah mean? Sarah. What does it mean? What Sarah mean? What does it mean? Princess. That's correct. Yeah. In the That's good. That's good. Is it a test? Like, no, 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 it's not a test. So look. Don't get offended. Yeah. Look, look, look. What? Okay. All you, right. Listen, listen. All right. That was, you told all us right. your daddy was an African right. American man, right? All so right. all we doing is showing you because your daddy goes back to an African American man, American blacks, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And uh, Israelite are God's chosen people. So why Judah has to be in that? Like, why Judah got to be the American black? You know what I'm saying? How was that picked out? That's like, how the events unfolded. That's how history happened. The Americans were like the Judah. The Judites ended up in America. So, so let me ask you this. How did uh, African Americans get over here to America? Look, okay, I don't so want that, you to. We know you. We that's yeah. that's good. You know that, but we want we want her to answer. My fault. My time. I definitely gotta watch my time. No, no, for sure. Anyways, what was the question again? <laughs> How did the African Americans get to America? <laughs> you think I know that? <laughs> so, I'm gonna be honest. Do you think I know that? So they come from the west coast of Africa. Okay. There was a reason why they came from the west coast of Africa. You okay. believe in Jesus Christ, right? Okay. So Jesus Christ said there will be a time. Go to Luke 24. <laughs> You familiar with Jesus Christ though? Like you know the stories, the parables, all that, right? Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. <coughs> like you said, no disrespect. We all heard he Everybody believes yeah. something. And that's what I see right here. But we teaching the truth though. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, everybody believes something. For me, that's all I'm saying. Sorry, I'm, I'm not disrespecting nothing. Like I'm not trying to, I just want to understand this. That's it. The book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 21. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let them not, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. So this is Christ prophesying. He's telling you it's going to be a point in time where other people are going to ransack and invade the homeland, and they're going to have to flee. When you go into history, uh, anybody got Babylon the Book 2, it's a book called Babylon the Book 2, and the history in it, it will tell you that those people, when they fled, they fled to the mountains, and they went to the west, they migrated to, uh, is it, uh, North Africa, and they migrated all the way to Central and West Africa, and that's where the white man came and picked us up and brought us over here. Right. So those people that was on the west coast of Africa, those were the already the Hebrew Israelites. Right. Where do we come from? That's why I asked you that. We come from, they picked us up on the west coast of Africa on boats, right? Am I right, old school? Am I right? I know, over there. <laughs> we come, our history tell us that. You no, know, us being sold, you no know, beat with whips and all that. We come from the west coast of Africa. Correct. The same people that's being described as Hebrew Israelites. That's where we get this from. And many other sources. Correct. So, what do you have to say about that? All I know is that the word is the word. And if you read the word and understand the word, don't try to contradict it, you will be saying Don't have to understand that's, that's all I know. I, I don't know nothing about this, but now that I know, it is hard for me to understand. So, it is hard for me to understand. So, that's what you got to so I cannot, you gotta I take cannot the time. get this in my head and, you take the time and, and rasp it. More, it's more like this. That's the one I think I'm holding it up. Y'all got to use it. Jesus said, Jesus said, Jesus said. Why y'all can't just go with that? What Jesus said? What, what about all this? Just did that. Because we have to, so like, everything has a foundation. When you play basketball, I got you one second. When you got bad, when you play basketball, you have to know the rules in basketball, right? Okay. Right? right. You got to know about the fouls and the, the free throws. You got to know about all that. That's the foundation of basketball. So we gotta know the same thing when it comes to the Bible. What is What's the point of teaching you that if you don't even know? What is the tribe? What is the name of the group here? We're the sons of Jacob. That's right. The sons of Jacob. Yeah. All right. What does the sons of Jacob represent? The Most High God. That's right. And who's the Most High God? Yahweh. That's right. Okay. Is he a person? Is he a like? He's a deity. He's the Most High God. So he's above us. Like he's above everybody. He's All right. The creator. So he made the birds, the bees, you. He made everything. He made everything. Why, why re-explain it? It's in the Bible. Why do we need somebody else to re-explain 
because of people who love. No disrespect like you told me earlier. Okay, go Because ahead. of women like you, you don't understand it. That's why we got to give our sense to it. Dang, dang. That was disrespectful. Hey, I know, Look, I apologize I know for that sin. disrespect. I know our sins. No, I know our sins. I didn't say nothing about sins. I fought short every day. I like what you said, though, I man. I fought short every day. Yeah. So, I fought short every day, just like uh, you, man. So the point was, you was asking, what do we do? Yeah. And he told you, he explained to you what okay. we do. Okay. So that's what we're out here doing. And you said, why do we need to re explain what you already do? What I'm saying, I'm not saying re explain. I'm saying like, like rearrange. That's what it sounds like right here. So, why rearrange? Why try to be, why, why try to make it more than what it is? Is in the word. Y'all said it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Look, we about to show you do this real quick. Bring it out. This is Nehemiah 8, verse 8. Bring it out. So, they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly. And gave the sense. And did what? And, and gave, gave the, the sense. sense. And caused them to understand the reading. Because everything Amen. we read, you're not going to understand. That's why we do that. Make everybody understand. Right? It's actually a perfect thing to do, man. That's in his perfection to read something and give the better understanding of it. So earlier, he had asked you, how do you repent? And you made it seem like you already know how to repent. I said, and I quote, I've done it. A couple times. That means you can ask God. That means you can ask God, God, I messed up this time. I need you. Yeah. And still go yeah. sin. Yeah. That's just the natural man. Woman and man. Adam and Eve, they started all of this. I don't know the in-betweens of all of this. Y'all know it so well in the depths. But I just never heard of it. I just never heard it because the word is the word. I never heard of the, the sons of Jacob. You know what I mean? The sons of Jacob is all of these men. Jacob That's right. Israel. Okay. We are the Israelites. Okay. That's right. That's us a people. You are Israelite. We're trying to get you to understand that. Okay, I didn't That's know why that. That's why we went back to the foundation. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know I was an Israelite. Yeah, I thought you I was a child of God. That's it. You That's are it. a child of God. That's right. I thought I was a child of God. That's it. You I didn't know I was an Israelite. So, so dealing with repentance, we want, we want you to understand. Since you know you're an Israelite now, you understand that? What? So we want you to repent for the remission of sins. If you want to be forgiven for your sins, you got to repent. And if you don't know what sin is, you sinning by default. It's just simple. I'm sinning right now. I'm Are you happy right with now. that? No. All right, so look, go back to the Romans 8 right quick. Let's see something right quick. All right. And, uh, Bring, it out. Bring it out. <laughs> we know you on a small time. We got you. 8-1. The book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 1. Bring it up. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach uh, Read it verbatim. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So there is no condemnation to those that follow after Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Right? So why do people walk around and saying that they sinners, condemning themselves? Mm. Because what's the wages of sin? Death. It's death. So why you walk around uh, publicly saying that you're a sinner when you believe and follow Yahweh Shah Right? Jesus Christ. I didn't know. Do you follow Jesus Christ? No. I do not. But I do know my Lord. So why? You okay, who's your Lord then? Who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? <laughs> right. That's a good one. See, that, that's why we got brothers to help us out. All right. So, uh, you got it already? Go ahead. Luke 6 and 46. Bring that out. I don't know if I'm supposed to understand this. Like, I don't know. Hey, check out. Let me read that. Bring it out, bring it out. You got the Luke? This is 1 John 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Hold on. Let's get the Luke first. The book of Luke, chapter 6, and verse 46. Bring it out. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the, the things, things which I say? What color is that? Red letters. That's written in blood. That's, That's who the world calls Jesus right. Christ himself. I know that verse. Look, you said that was your Lord. So he's asking you a question. Go ahead. That is why. That is why. And why is call why. ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say. You just said out of your own mouth you don't follow him. 
Mm. But you just confess him to be your Lord. But I do know he is, he is Lord of all lords. I do know he is the king of all kings. So I if you know that, him. why you don't follow him? Uh-oh. I walk astray. Huh? I walk astray. So that's why we are here to help you get back to the right path. That's, that's right. right. that in Jeremiah where he says return back to the old path in Jeremiah 16. 6 and 16. Yeah, 6 and 16. That's out. our job is come out here and help you understand oh, that. So you want We're not your you enemy. Want to, you want me to repent? Yes. To Jesus Amen. Christ. No, no. We want you to Amen. repent to Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. I don't Amen. know who that is. That's Jesus Christ. Right. That's his real name. So y'all want me to repent to that? that. The no, not that that's just the description. That's not exactly what he looked like. But you that's how the Bible is. No, I'm t I said that's Jesus Christ. So you want me to repent to that or not? I want you to repent to Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's right. Christ in the Bible. That's not the real Christ. That Christ right there got you thinking that you can sin and everything gonna be okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Did that sound? What, how did that sound? It sounds like you know. I just I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like I said, like. I was taught in the upbringings, man. So I, I, I never believed it. You know, this is just, you know, I'm, I'm being brainwashed at this point. By who? By y'all. We're brainwashing you. How can y'all want me to repent? Y'all ain't even prayed over me yet. Okay, what? Did, did Jesus, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, tell you to do that? Did he say do that? Ain't Did he say not to pray? We didn't say we wasn't going to pray for you if you would have asked us. You said, why y'all not praying over me? Oh, y'all got to pray. Oh, y'all got to pray. And I got to ask y'all to We're pray. We're not supposed to pray in can public. I, can I say something real quick? Go ahead. I like that. Part. In order for you to repent, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You putting, you putting, our, you putting repentance in other people's hands. Yeah. That's not how the Bible do that. That's, that's not right. how God works. So you can't play that card right now. Amen. That card, repentance and God, you can't do that. Repentance is yours. Repentance is your job, oh, not everybody else's job. Short of Every day, that's you see that? Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't let her, don't, don't slip, don't let her that. slip from that. Yeah. Hey, I just don't she know gotta who answer who that. Guy is, who y'all call him? I'm not gonna, no disrespect. I just never heard. Him. So I, what cool. am I really bowing down to? Is that an idol? Because in, in the word it says, do not bow down to that idol. But you are already doing that. We're trying to how? get you from how? that. How? How? Jesus how you Christ. Say, I, I believe, and how you gonna say I do? Like, hey, bro, don't come around here doing that. What's wrong? Look, I never believed in that. I never put my faith in that picture. I never wore crosses on my body. None of that. Like that's good. That's like, good. I am the body. I am the temple. I am the temple. I fucked up doing this. I fucked up doing this. I fucked up with a lot of shit, smoking all of that shit, and I'm still doing it to this day. But can no man? And the word is saying trust no man. None. Not even you. You. Not nothing. It said don't trust no man. So it's not about you. Believing on the picture is you believing on what that picture represents. Right. He keeps pointing at you keep pointing at it like Sean, intentionally to say like I'm brainwashed by this. You dealer. listening to get a okay. understanding. You said we were trying to brainwash you, Sean. If y'all really want to see repent repentance, y'all Jehovah's Witness, really. Let's just put it like this. Let's be honest then. Let's be honest then. Y'all Jehovah's Witness. Two white boys knocking at your door. Do you know Jesus Christ? Do you know your, your Lord and uh Satan? This, this is then, right? It's That's still, what y'all saying. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you want us to do, man? Let me get a bite of this. I was going to ask y'all. Let me get a bite of this. Let me get a bite of this. Can we do your flyer? You disagree with her. I'll take it. I'll take it. And respect, if y'all from Tulsa, right? Yeah. No disrespect to y'all town. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to understand the dialogue. I really am. And I hope you bump into each other again because I really don't understand it. And I don't know who this is. It's going to be hard for you to get it because. The, the things that's tampering with your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Because we reading out the Bible, but you're still saying, hey, 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 look, shot. Hey, look, shot. He get it. Right. They get it. Right. They get it, but you don't get it. Hey, I'm not here for the problem. That's a problem. Sir. Look, look, we actually going into the Bible. But I'm not here for the Look, we actually good, going into the Bible. Good. What Christianity don't do, and you saying we the ones trying to brainwash you. That don't make no sense. Everybody get it but you. I just, I just don't understand all this. I don't like so look, you. I told you already, don't worry about YouTube. YouTube. So Instagram? YouTube. 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 So on YouTube, yeah. All right. Right. You're an Israelite, child. You got to repent for their missing and sins. That's all we want you to understand. Right. But okay. we went into this whole spill because, you know, he chose, you refused to, you know, open your ear to us. Everybody gonna get a chance to go into heaven if they do. No, that's not true. How do you repent though? You gotta give it all to him. You gotta give everything that you desire. The worldly things. So look, the worldly things. The worldly things. You saying that? The worldly things. The worldly things. Come on, listen. Come on, man. So, so, the worldly things, bro. So, are you confessing that you're not gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven then? 
I but believe. But she said you a sinner. Now can I say something? What? I believe every day. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't believe I'll make it. But there's people every day talking to me. Read the word. Read the word. Read the word. Read the word. I got a whole life. And just because I just smoked, doesn't mean I'm not gonna ask God to forgive me. I'm gonna ask. Is that how that works? It's not how it works. But he did say come to him. Hey, so how old are you? 28 years old, sir. 28 years old, man. You should know better, right? Yeah. My pops, right. he is—he's still in the jam since 1995. Yes. If anybody broken broken he Jesus did. Christ down to me is him right. because he's in a—he's in a box. Tower of Babel. And I don't want to call him a nigga, but he'll never get out. Okay. When I say he has a relationship with him, it's like it's crazy. So look, I believe him. I believe him. We just want you to. I believe him. Look, we just want you to reflect on your sin. I believe him. Look. We want you to. So, do you believe your dad, or you don't believe what the Bible says? Okay, so but it's, but it's, 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 the it's making himself. him a. It's making him a man of God. Huh? It's making him a man of God. Yeah, to you? Okay. No, I'm trying. I'm asking. Are you a man of God? We all a man of God. That's right. That's right. So why can't my father be a man of God? I never said he was. To you? No, I asked a question. I'm saying, are you saying he's a man of God to you? He's a man of God by faith. Okay. He's a man of God by faith, not by what I say, yeah. and not by what you say. So what determines? But it, it offended me. Yeah. It offended me. What did? What you said? I, I but it's cool. How it's cool. I, I said it offended me. I'm just telling you, know, it did. But we over that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 I'm just saying. Sean, I want to give you the the basic, the foundation, and understanding of what he's trying to tell you. So I want to give it to you in the scriptures. Teach. So what is sin? We're going to keep this simple and very plain right, so that you can understand. Right. What is sin according to the Bible? That's a question for you to answer, and then we're going to read it for you after the Bible. Yeah. Read it out. What is sin? Sin is. Because you said you're a sinner. So what is it? Sin is everything. Everything on this earth. We're going to find out what what we, we, we are already in hell. We already in hell. What about the apple? We already are sin. We already in hell. Is this sin to eat apple? Uh, was it not a sin? When Adam and Eve ate the apple? Was it not a sin? So y'all don't believe Adam and Eve fucked us up? Where does it say they ate apple? Uh, so they never ate apple? They ate a snake. If you want to ask me that, they ate a snake. They ate a snake. They ate a snake. What? What they ate? They didn't eat fruit, which goes into they was listening to the forbidden fruit, right? Can I be exact? It's the forbidden fruit. So, you gotta understand yeah, know, the word said what it say. The word said what it say. Real quick, we're gonna keep it simple again. Let's get it real quick. Let's get what's in This is First John, three verse four. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. You understand that? Sin is you read it the again? transgression of the, of the law. Okay, so what's the law? Let me ask you that. What's the law? The law of Moses. The law of the Ten Commandments. Okay. Now, can I ask you this? Do you follow that day by day? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. That's right. And we gonna say this too. And we gonna we gonna tell you this too. And I I hope this do something for you. We're not sinners either. You gotta stop walking around saying. You got no. Let me say this: You gotta stop walking around being comfortable saying that you're a sinner, because that's not okay. good. But did you ask though? Did you ask? Did you ask? And I say that because I walk that way. I, I do the things that make a man sin naturally. But you don't know what sin is. Oh damn! I haven't repented. I haven't. I haven't gave it to him. Bring it out! Bring it out! Bring it out! Yeah, Revelations is definitely in the making, no doubt. So what's stopping you? My pops talked to me every man. He talked to me like last night, night before about all of this. He tell me every day, every day, every day, every day. So I'm saying, what's stopping you though? I'm just, I'm into this. Like it is what it is. You into what? I'm into this. I'm into the life. Chicago life. Nah. I'm meant to just live it, comfortable, for me. So you're comfortable. I feel that way. Now I feel that way. Because I got no problems, I got no issues. I'm in a new setting. I'm in a new setting. You 
definitely got issues, man, with the most high. But everybody that's crossed my path has talked about God. Everybody that's crossed my path has talked about Jesus Christ. Hey, so look, let me ask you this. Anybody, everybody in Chicago, you will never get that. Look, I'm going to get that. I'm going to show you something scary out the scripture. All right. This is John 9, verse 31. Bring it up. Now we know that God. Three minutes, three minutes. Look, look, now we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God, him, do his will, him, him, him he hears. We're gonna be there and we make this world. God don't hear sinners. Know it. So what? What do you do with that? It's crazy that you say that. It's I didn't say nothing. The Bible says that. It's crazy that you say that though. Why ask me that? Like, why you? Did I say that? Shot. Why say? Why ask me that though? Shot. Did I say that though? We gotta admit who said it. It's in the word. Okay. It's in the word. So, is that a scary thing? That you claim to be a sinner and God said that he don't hear sin. God bless you guys. Man, I love you guys. It doesn't scare you? Yes, sir. So my prayer is not nothing. You gotta keep his commandments. That's right! So look. That's, you see what we're doing, though. We're trying to get you to understand. I'm not there yet, man. I'm Look, not there yet. I got you. I'm not there yet. You know what I'm saying? And, like, we... Now do you do? But look, it's 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 really to be honest with you, it's really not funny because it's we're talking funny. about your salvation here. Okay, it's not funny. But like I said, I'm not there yet. Okay, so what do you need to do to get there? Words. First, you need to start listening or understanding. We're not trying to make you do anything. We're just trying to get you to understand that what you've been taught is wrong. So what I've been taught? That you are a sinner and it's okay to be a sinner. You've been taught that it's okay to glorify Chicago. No. No. So I'm wrong. Yeah. Because I've made trans... I made progress in my life being here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of right things here. here the only look. a lot of things here has humbled me a lot. I'm slowly growing that relationship with God. Not, not with nobody else. No man. I'm just slowly growing that relationship with him. So when I walk past people like y'all and try to understand what's going on, it's just like another thought, like, okay, we talk about the Lord. Then you got other folks that say, oh, just read the word. And then you got other folks just say, oh, just pray. Everybody gonna say something different. No, we're not saying anything. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. We letting the Bible talk. Okay? Right. The Bible saying it. All right. them. So you gotta listen to the Bible, Sha. I gotta get up out of here. Gotta, man. Yeah, that's cool. I gotta you, get up out of here. You got that flyer? Why you folding it up like that? I'm gonna take a look. YouTube. I'm gonna take a look. Y'all on Instagram? Oh, no, I actually follow y'all back. Yeah, I actually follow y'all back. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. So look. Instagram. Come talk to us again, Sha. <laughs> hey, we got we got classes where you can ask questions. That's I right. I work. I work. I work two jobs, man. I'm surprised to be off today. Hey, so this is just through, y'all. I wanted to catch up and so see look, what this y'all. Hey, about. look. On a real note, so, we, we love you. Word. We want you to repent for the remission of sin. Word. We're exactly. not out here in the heat playing no game, man. It's too hot to be playing. Right. We out here with the spirit of the most high God on us. All right. You know Amen. what I'm saying? So we want you to repent for the remission of sins. And we just want you to hear our way. All right. Hear the Bible's way on how you, re you repent. All right. That's all we want. So just, just contact us, man, or watch the video. Let me go ahead. Yo, Let me get to it. Let me just get to it. Hey, you, you are a warrior. You are a You're going to be there. Bro. Hey, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. No problem. You're going to be there. What's your name? My name is Jeffrey Weston. Jeffrey. You see yourself on the sign, Jeff? Jeff Rope. Uh, somewhere. But I'm not sure which tribe I came from, but I know I'm a one of the 144,000. God told me I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. Don't the Bible tell you not to make yourself a part of that number? Uh, mm. Maybe it does, uh, but God telling me something. It, he's gonna be here soon. Man, you Within our life different time. from earlier. Hey, so do you know how to repent, Jeffrey? Was you listening? Yes, I know how to repent. How do you repent, Jeff, bro? Stop doing what you're doing is wrong. Was it wrong? Uh, whatever is taking your mind away from God. Okay. Whatever That's a good answer. Your, but whatever's taking your love away from God, and whatever is making you put something in front of God. That's sin. Right? You put that behind you and you put God first and everything, that's repentance. Yeah. So let's show them what repentance is right quick. According to the Bible. Because it's very specific. This is Acts 3 verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Right? Because we 
we all want our sins blotted out. Is that so? It tells you to repent and be converted. What are we being converted to, Jeff, bro? Um, being converted to back in the the children to God, yeah. being, being converted to. You don't know. You're right. So what did? What is the the most important thing that made them the children of God? These people. Um, the most important thing is uh, just to walk with God the way they 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 understood God the way they heard God the way they talked to God they walked with God. I want to show you something, Jeffro. Okay. Your name is Jeffro? Bro, well, that's what I go by. And, and, uh, and he, he got that one right away. But I'm Bro, most the majority of Jeffro's like, I got my heart. Oh, heard, 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 heard. But I am Jeffro Bodine right. when it comes down to the food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, see you at. is that? Yeah. So look, check this out. This is Cyrac 24, verse 23. Bring it up. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. So our heritage, what makes us the children of Israel is the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High God gave us that makes us a special people. Yeah. So it's the laws of the Most High God. Right now, give me Psalms 147 and 19. The book of Psalms, chapter 147. Yes, sir. And verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So these people on this sign, these are the people that he gave his law and commandments to. that are wrong? You hear me, Jeffrey? Yeah. These are the people he gave his law and commandments to. And possibly you on this sign. If it hits your spirit, if it resonates with your spirit, you need to come back. That's how you convert. You come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God and who the, the faith of the, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Man. Yes, sir. You got to repent for the remission of sins, man. Um, I do repent. I, 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 uh, I, I still do things, right? But I try to keep my mind on God 100%, you know? 